Hey up there lads, are we ready for war? I think we're ready for war, let's go to war shall we? Off to Vega lands, what wonders and treasures and hopefully success may we find. I was going to say blood or something, oh, a nice warry word there but I couldn't think of a good one to fit that sentence so I just went for, I can't even remember what I said but whatever man, intro's done. Let's get on with the meat of the video, shall we? And that meat is going to contain, hopefully, lots and lots and lots of Vagir defeating. We actually have some soldiers to upgrade to aid us in our Vagir defeating right now. Another Swadian footman. Hey, man, why don't you become a little bit of a man at arms, sir? Excellent. So let's think about how we're going to defeat Vagirs. Well, cavalry charges, I think. They're very good archers. They're decent infantry and okay cavalry but basically you want to counter the archers so you do that by getting in the archers faces as quickly as you can and that's what we're gonna do what part of the vague lands we're looking for here i'm not really sure ideally we're just gonna go and find a relatively conquerable castle or something let's start with yuruma castle because this is what we got to do we got to take land off them you know we can defeat them on the field all day long but it doesn't really achieve anything except HP for us. Okay, you know what? I didn't... How did they get by? Because we were only just there. Well, we're going to go back on the defence then now. Because Sanusta Castle does not have a great garrison yet. So we're going to need to speedy, speedy, speedy all the way back here. Maybe Count Riot is going to come to our aid. Who knows? It's, he's not our marshal anymore, is he? Well, random a second at last I found you. The Kingdom of the Nords is a labyrinth of rivals and grudges. Interesting to know, Matt Held, my love. Interesting to know. Should we get you where you're meant to be? Oh, you're still technically where you're meant to be. You can bring up the rear, Matt Held. I'm a bit warm moment of your time, Captain. Marnie seems to think me a common bandit, just because I've rewarded myself in the past with the legitimate spoils of war from caravans passing through my family's lands. I told him if the warrior's way bothers him so much that he become a priest or a beggar and not have... Yeah, it's fair, you know, it's a, it's a hard world, this. Um, obviously, we keep, we're keep we siding with Beheshta. If Marnie's going to pick fights with Beheshta, that's going to be a problem. Hopefully, they can settle their differences amicably, and hopefully, we can settle these... Uh, this is just the castle situation amicably, although I think it's going to result in a few arrows and spears in faces. Hopefully not my faces. Um, five Nord recruits to Huntsman in Unasdat Castle. See, that's all going the wrong way. We've got the Nords. Yeah, we, we spoke about that before. It's annoying, but whatever. Okay, right. We're here. We've arrived in time. How many Vagirs are we about to face right now? Um, I don't see any, to be honest. Where are they? Oh, there they are, 53. Is that it? You think I can take my castle with 53, mate? Hang on, hang on. Let's upgrade this skirmisher to an archer and this Marnid to a better Marnid. Is that the... And, and this Nord... And a Nord warrior, okay. Right, Marnid. I don't want you picking fights, mate. But uh, I'm going to give you an upgrade nonetheless. Now, he wants... We want to give him some riding, really. Um, so maybe a bit of agility to be getting on with. And we can... Um, that was intelligence I just gave him, wasn't it? Yes, in agility, please. And for now, we'll just give him some weapon master. Or, you know what, some power draw. No, we don't want power draw. Can I actually click the right things for a minute, please? There we go. Okay. <coughs> there we go. That's relatively where the upgrade should be for this guy. Okay, right. Let's teach Emir Radun a lesson. Meet again, Randomus the second. And I'm sure we'll meet again. But for now, you probably know what's going on. Call me an impudent whelp all you like. I don't really care. Now, as much as we said we want cavalry charges straight on, Emir Radun, once upon a time, was a Kurgit. Oh, sorry, a Saranid, wasn't he? This is the absolute most awful terrain ever to be fighting on. How oh, man. Right. Um. Right, everyone just hang about for a minute. We've got to work out what's going on here. Because if they're going to come from above here... Then I guess what we need to do is just have a little setup like that. We'll have the cavalry following us and we'll try and find a way around. Um, but if they're going to come up and over this hill... Oh man, this is awful, isn't it? Right, let's, with our cavalry, try and find a better way around, shall we? Uh, I don't think it's going to be there. I think going up that way and then seeing if we can head round left is going to be a good idea. Right, so we're going to go with the main of the army. I realise we're leaving people a bit... A bit light on the ground there, but if they're carrying or if they've got to climb up that massive hill, then oh my goodness me, Rolf's already done something. Bloody heck, what a shot by Rolf. So they are coming over from up there. 
Um, oh man, I don't think we're going to be able to find a way around in time. Right, you know what? Let's have the light cavalry charging in. And we'll go with the heavy cavalry. It looks to be going pretty well right now. I know we said we were going to find... Oh, we're not even going to be able to get up there, are we? Mm, no, I, th I, think, I think we just fight. It's going to be awkward, but we haven't really had time to find a better way around. It's okay, though, because this is a very, very easy group of people to defeat by the looks of things. Especially with Rolf, blooming keen-eyed that he is. Oh, look at that. That's just a firing squad, isn't it? I'm very sorry to that Kurgit horse that we just shot there. Well, this is a bit easy. That's a bit easy right there. That's just excellent. Considering how awkward this fight could have been, I think we've done extremely well there. Extremely well. And we've just got the last couple that are scattering. Oh, man, that was an easy shot that I missed. That was an easy shot that I missed. What am I playing at here? Oh, I can't shoot for a thing. There we go. That's a little better. Oh. That's the ticket. Lovely. Okay. Oh, our poor horse. Look at him. Our poor little horse. Anyway, good job, lads. Our, you know, our infantry line's looking a bit okay now. The fact that 53 Saranids thought they could have a go at our castle, though. Or 53, whatever they are. Vague is now, I guess. Sar uh, Vagarids. Um... Well, we've just got to get that. We've just got to get the garrison in, and eventually it will be in. Um, are we good here then now? Are we good here then now? I think we're good here then now. There's a guy trying to scale a cliff to escape from us. I don't see anyone. Maybe I'll just sneak an arrow over the cliff face if I can. Yeah, hopefully we're going to avoid battles like this in the future, because this was just awkward, but it's one that we've claimed victory in nonetheless. So, tab to exit. No casualties, that's exactly what I love to see. Excellent, and it was only looters that we could rescue. Not really much point in a looter, is there, considering we've already got our company maxed out. Right, anyway, what are we doing? Lancersville, we've got, we've got one and one so far, but we do have... Mercer, oh, we do have sword sisters and we do have mercenary horsemen as well. So we've actually got 12 and 12 in terms of melee and fighter. But then look at our Swadian knights. 13 knights and 16 man at arms. It really is pretty darn cracking. Okay. Uh, that pork's good. That pork's good. That pork's good. A little light for food, actually, right now. Um, so what I think we do, sir, I hope you do not mind me telling you this, but in my opinion, Marned, the merchant does not know his place. During the last battle, he cut in front of me to engage a foe whom I have marked for my own. Oh, God, they're fighting in the same cavalry division as well, aren't they? I appreciate that he is willing to risk his life in battle, but that alone does not make him a gentleman. He is not of noble birth, and his family's wealth comes from commerce and usury. He may fight with us in his auxiliary, but should attempt to steal glory from his bet as well. You know what? That's a bit that's a bit snotty of you, a lion. I'm not gonna get involved in that one. You know, he's got his right to fight with us as much as you do, okay? I'll put him in your little team so you could look after him and take you under his wing, not so you could pick on him for being of lower birth. Yeah, yeah. Oh god, we've actually got no garrison there. We still not had a recruiter return. Okay, well we're gonna have to do the sensible thing then and just wait around here. God, no wonder 53 of them thought they could have a go at us. How did... Why didn't they just walk in? Must have a pretty hard door. Right, so there's one of our recruiters out. We do have three on the go. I think we've got one in Nordic lands, one in... And uh, two in Sal yeah, Swadian lands. That would be enough, wouldn't it? Um, a lord has defected. Unprecedented. Okay, um... What are we doing here, though? We're going to the marketplace. We're going to the goods merchant. We're going to buy a little bit of food, if we can. Um... Been a while since we've had to do this manually, but I think let's just keep everyone fed. It's a good idea, and we'll get rid of this. The goods merchant can sell them on however he sees fit. Right. Okay, that that will keep our bellies full, I think. Um, you know, I have that rotten chicken. Why have we got so much rotten chicken lying about the place? Ridiculous. Right. Okay. Ooh, yeah, we could. We could. Um, yeah. I was gonna say, should we buy some mine and sell it on elsewhere? But there's not really the time. So we're going to have to stick around here for the time being then, aren't we? Um, yeah. Yeah, we are. Yeah, basically, if, if more Vegas come calling, we might, you know, we'd get up there to about Ravidin Lay. Ra yeah, Ravidin Way. 
and then we'd just be like, oh man, now we've got to head back to Sinister Castle because there's no garrison in Sinister Castle, but it's no longer under siege. And I guess, you know what, just chilling here for a little bit of time isn't the worst thing to do. It's our castle, we can chill here if we want. There's a recruiter coming back. Okay, let's immediately send another one out. Um, five North recruits to North Huntsman. It really is infuriating that they've upgraded that way, but it doesn't really matter. At the moment, touch wood, it stays that way. Unistat Castle is miles away from any danger, just because of where it is in the world. We're at war with the Vegas, they've got to come through Saren uh, Swadian lands to get to us. I don't think we need to be too scared about that. But what I do want to do, I want to recruit another. Let's go for 50 Rodox here, please. Then if all of our recruiters return, that is a decent garrison that we've got here in Sinister Castle. And then we'll get training them. And yeah, then question mark, question mark, question mark, profit. Another recruiter has brought recruits back to Unistat Castle. Rodox and the Nords have signed a trade agreement. Oh, crikey. We're getting some XP. That's good. That's very good. So we'll just wait for our recruiters to return onto us. And then we'll be off to... Whoa. I'm trying to put my uh, flagon down extreme... Oh, for God's sake. Well, 14 dinars kept you here this time. Will it keep you here this time? <laughs> my God, it's a lot more than 14 dinars. <laughs> Not sure you're worth it, Matt Held, my love. 14 dinars. It's not 14 dinars. What is the game doing here? Oh, well, we're so rich. What does it matter? Let's upgrade this chap and another veteran. Or oh, actually, our first Nord veteran. That's excellent. A soon to be a Huskarl. We're going to get the Huskarls back in the squad. That's very nice, considering we were on our asses a little while ago. Um, oh, of course, Mercenary Cavalry we have in this squad, don't we? Well, considering we were on our asses outside Keradan Castle not so long ago, I think we're doing pretty, pretty well. Pretty, pretty well. And there's, you know, we earn Matt Held's bribe in a day. So it really doesn't matter. Jeremus upgrading. Oh, man, look at this. Just waiting for these recruiters to get back, as we said. Enemy patrol spotted near Uxcal. Oh, really? Oh, really? I don't really think that's much of an, a bit of a appropriate behaviour from them. Vegas have declared war with the Nords. That's very good news for us. That's really good. Um, it one it unites this these lands together against a common a common enemy. Secondly, this lot got to fight two lots of guys now. You know, right? Is that a recruiter? That is a recruiter. Right. We have, I'd say, a hundred there now. Oh wow, that's our tribesman. Oh, sorry, our Rodok guy got back. Our Swadian guy should still be going then, and I swear we had... You know what? I'm going to send another recruiter out real quick. Um, just because I think that one of our recruiters might have been stopped, and I may have just not noticed the message. So let's just send another one out. You know, we've definitely got another one in... Oh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We can always move them manually later. Right, should we take another 50 Nords? Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Right, okay. That should be a massive garrison there. Let's just go and have a look at what these enemy patrols near Uxcal are doing. Oh, look, there's someone coming back. Okay, well, we're going to have loads and loads and loads of men in Sinister Castle. But that's all good, though. 150. It's it's very nice. It's very nice. Anyway, so we'll put an end to these enemy patrols by Uxcal. And then we'll work on, um, well... I, th I can imagine all of these areas are going to have very, very good garrisons. But we have a very, very good squad of men now. And if we can just run around and mess some stuff up, then... Hey, that's all going to be good, isn't it? Now, let's remember that Jeremus had an upgrade. And we have another Vagir marksman to get. And there's Jeremus, and is that it? Oh, no, 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 no. We have another warrior. Lovely. Right, well, Jeremus, we know what we do with Jeremus. Let's have a look at his skills. Intelligence. And where are we going? First aid, and then I guess... I guess... Train, tracking, pathfinding, spotting... Ooh... ooh um, ooh, uh, I, get, I guess a bit of power strike. He's going to need to be a fighter at some point, isn't he? And he's got his pole arm, so... There you go, son. There you go. Probably in hindsight. I can't go to change it now. Not even that I could. Um, we might have been better off giving him Weapon Master. But oh well. Oh well. Anyway, let's have a look at these patrols. It might just be... I don't know. It could be a host of Vegas. It could just be 
one little lord that's been caught out. And the war was declared and he was over here and he's trying to fight his way back. I don't see anyone right now, though. Um, flourishing. Well fed and relatively content. I can't stop reading that. It's so good. Right, let's just swing round up by Rulans, but we'll go this way. Just to make sure nothing, nothing's happening there. Just to make sure nothing's happening there. Okay, right. I'm not seeing any danger. I think it's okay. I think we're safe. There's a Suno patrol. That Suno patrol is basically a Rulans patrol as well. It's quite nice. So are we at war with the Blooming Kurgits or not? Why do they hate me so much? If I order King Gravis, you have Vuldrat, blah, 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 blah. Very poor and desolate. That's no good. That's no good. But look, we're going to we're gonna have a mana soon. We've already got a school and a messenger post. As long as, um, as long as everything, you know, doesn't get looted here, this should just sort of take care of itself. Why do the Vagirs hate us so much? Uh, character report, weekly budget report, party morale report. I mean, if we went to the faction relations report, the Ve obviously the Vegas don't like us. The Kurgits are suspicious of us, but it's only minus two. We should be allowed in their city at least. Or maybe minus two is enough to, you know, be scaring caravans away. Anyway, oh crikey. Um, renounce the Swadians and join the Kanat. So I'm led to believe, thanks to people in the comments for telling me this, that if a lord defects, he takes his stuff with him. If a lord is indicted for treason, he loses it. I'm not quite sure what the difference is in terms of how you achieve such things, but should we be looking now for some of our land that's now Kurgit land? Not seeing any land gone. I mean, if, if they if they just had, like, a village, then they'd lose it unless they had the castle with them. But I think that might have been how we took Yalan or something, you know? Anyway, right, what we'll do is we'll head back here. I'd say we have enough Nord Huntsmen in Uluzdak Castle now, so we're going to get training in Sanuzda. Wait, who was that? No, it doesn't matter. And then we'll actually get to war, like we said we were going to do 15 minutes ago. It was a necessary delay, I think. Definitely a necessary delay. But let's go and do this war. Right, total experience gain. Oh man, that's very good. And what are we getting with that? Another veteran horse archer? How about that? Another knight? How about that? Another marksman? Come on now, that's just too good. Oh, bloody awesome. Bloody awesome. How close are we to getting a level up though? That's what I want to know because I want more oh, miles away still. 35,000 basically. Just a little less, but we need charisma. The following skill cannot be developed beyond one third. Oh, I see. I see. So we can only get... So, uh, hang on. So let's reword that. Charisma needs to be 21 before we can get seven leadership. That's a hell of a lot of level ups, isn't it? That's a hell of a lot of level ups. But we are, I understand that now. That's pretty good. I, mean, I think we got like someone like Borsha and Yamira are getting close to 21 intelligence. So we're going to be cracking there. Right. Why am I going to the room? I want to be going to Sanuzda. That's where we're going. And King Harless is having a feast. Oh, in Rindia Castle. Rindia Castle? That's quite near, isn't it? It's over there. Well, that's excellent. It's about time we started going to feasts, as we've uh, been saying before. So let's do that, and then we can kind of just swing round and onto the front line. Okay, well, let's first of all go to the Lord's Hall, and we'll speak to, not Chancellor Herfast, not Chamberlain Aubrey, but Constable Miles. There he is in the red there, looking rather splendid. I'd like to talk about recruits and training. Stop training those fools and start training these fools. It's a bit annoying that you can't train everyone at once. I think, who have we got in right now? We have Nords. Let's go melee first. Hire some additional trainers there, lad. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Right, okay. Well, off to the feast then. Hopefully there'll be an eligible maiden. That's something we need to do for our right of rule. And I think what we'll do is we'll stay content in Swadian lands until such time as we have a wife. And then our right of rule is so much better. Let's have a look at our right of rule right now. Um, doesn't show their character report. Our right to rule is 48. Don't know how good that is, but I, I, I reckon it's probably a bit all right. 48. Not bad. Mm, certainly rather good. Well, there we go, off to the castle. Maybe even it would be an idea, if nothing comes of this, maybe we should host a feast in Utskar. That's something we didn't think of before. I think that's something we should do. 
assuming the feast doesn't go well here, or even if it does, you know, we'll have a... Oh, the feast isn't on yet. He did say re castle, didn't he? Um, yeah, the Nords are getting trained right there. Okay, well, you know what? We'll camp for a day, and then we'll have a look at this castle. 